it's time to talk about X-Men 97. There's a lot going on with X-Men 97. <laughs> a lot going All right. on. I was going to warn you guys in the comments. Um, I brought up, I brought, I brought some still photos uh, as a presentation to also show. Um, so I'll dive into those shortly. But I want to start here. So let's. How do you, how do you guys want? You want to split this up episodically? Episode one, episode two. You want to do it that way? Yeah, let's yeah, knock it out that way. Okay. Yeah. The way, right. it diver- oh. that's the way it deserves to be knocked out. Okay. So episode one, uh, right off the bat, the theme mm. music hit, and I felt like I was a child again, and it felt fantastic. Just saying. Um, I'm just going to start there and then I will say that the vibes that I got early on, it took me a little while to get used to the animation. I'm still kind of getting used to it because the animation was very smooth and modern, but I, I, I get what they're doing. Um, but I have enjoyed my time so far. And episode one was obviously titled to me, my X-Men. And I'm sure we're going to get into all that momentarily. Um, so yeah, from let's take it away. Who want things that stuck out to you guys? Shoot. Just um, go for it. Off episode one, remember, stay on. Episode, episode one, one. Episode one. Okay, so uh, uh, for me, the, the the first thing is that um, shout out to whoever decided to make uh, Cyclops a more physical character because he's always presented as you know the pretty boy you can't break a nail. Just you know he's Captain America with with you know with glasses and whatnot, but um, here they have like thrust responsibility on him, and you know he's he's out for the action, and I and I'm with that. Like this is what he needs. Now the one thing I do need is for him to have stopping to press his damn visor in order to shoot and whatnot. Can we get him something that he can just think and just shoot what he want to shoot? Because you, you gotta talk that's, to these, bro. So it's, only 90, it's only ninety. It's only ninety seven. It's ninety seven, bro. They, they they ain't there yet with that technology. Yeah. <laughs> Cerebro, man. I know we can get a piece of Cerebro. <laughs> it's like, yeah, go fuck that button up. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you guys something. So early on in the episode, obviously, we get introduced to a kid named Roberto, who obviously later on we figure out is going to be Sunspot. And mm-hmm. the minute he says his name, we all know he's Sunspot. I, I, well, it took, it, took, it took me a minute. I was like, I don't really? I remember who Roberto. I didn't remember who Roberto was. That's I had no idea. Stuff? Yeah, yeah, I had to I had to remember who that was. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Sunspot. And then he he did the thing with his arm, and I was like, oh, okay, he's sunspot. Got it. Understood. Okay, cool. Um, let me tell you something. Chase brought it up earlier, and I'm gonna say it now. The second storm got put on screen, whoa, I was like, Whoa, whoa. they brought storm back, baby. No, oh, you see, like, you you had holy to no, no. When I heard her voice, you, you yeah, yeah, the voice, when I the, heard voice her the voice talk, I was like. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. You're looking right. for the popcorn yep. right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. My first gripe. Uh huh. Oh, I hey. said it last week. We ain't finished the so motherfucking this. episode didn't start with previously on fucking X Men, but episode two did. Still, <laughs> to say it, episode two did. You didn't you start the fucking series. You're being, little, you're, you're, being, oh, you're being a little petty. You're being a little petty. Know, this is why X Men animated. The, the, the first one didn't do that. It was the, the first, first episode. It just started. Yeah, because it just started. But this is the X Men ninety seven. This is a continuation of the animation series. Is it not? No, no, no. It's X Men ninety seven. It's a new show. It may continue, but it's a new show. And it's continuation if of the old named, show. If they just named it X Men, I dig you. I can oh. feel you. I can feel you on the beef. But they put X that little ninety seven at the bottom, bro. Changes the whole game. Yeah, but but change the whole. Yeah, ain't no previous. Like, it's just ninety seven. There's a preview new. because why is Rogue pregnant? What? what? I mean, why, why is Jean why, Jean, why is Jean pregnant? Yeah, why is Jean pregnant? It's called time shit. Let's try to let's try to save him. You didn't Monica, start my fucking episode. The actual reason why she's pregnant, you know. I, 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 you're a dude. I can, you see, when a man and a woman. <laughs> 
um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna like skip into comments as we're going along here because I don't want to miss anybody's comment. But I didn't skip the theme on either episode because why would you? That, there's no reason to. I'm gonna watch it every single episode. Because All eight episodes I'm right. watching the theme. Uh, right. Shout out to Bo DeMeo because it was his creation despite him being fired a week before the premiere. You gotta give the man his credit. He wrote it. Yo, you know what I mean? It, it, I, 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 I hope, hope what he lose, he make up on his OnlyFans and whatnot. Bro. <laughs> oh, allegedly, allegedly, hey, allegedly. Yo. hey, yo. Uh, and shout out to them for getting Sunspot ethnically <laughs> ethnically right because his, because they whitewashed him in New Mutants. Yeah, that's that's valid. That is valid. I agree with you. I agree. Uh, Tubila just says, I agree. It's supposed to be a continuation, isn't it? It is supposed to be a continuation. Um, so yeah, so Leo already brought up. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump around a little bit here because I did I do have some uh some stills to bring up while we're going through it. So obviously to Leo's point, um, Gene is pregnant. <laughs> Scott Gene. Was getting them yams, boy. Um here's here's the second. So I'm gonna talk about it because it's all over the internet, and I hope that for some reason we don't go viral for the wrong reason. But I'm gonna flick to this next picture, and I'm just gonna say what I gotta say, guys. Not that one. Not that one. Well, first off, this one. Cable. I love cable. Uh, cable. Uh, Bishop. 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 Sorry, my bad. Bishop. Love. Love Bishop. I like I Bishop actually. I didn't I like think it was that character. bad. I like him as a yeah, character. But you don't, don't like, like this version. I don't like, I don't like the way he sounded up in here. Okay, that's a it's a new voice actor. I think it is. I'm no, pretty it. sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a new voice actor who's doing Bishop. Um, this scene right here, though, I, I did think it was cool the way that Storm and Bishop came in and helped out um, <clears throat> Sunspot and all that. Here's the image that I'm going to bring up that might get me canceled. <clears throat> get your mans! Get your freaking mans! You see this shit? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No, no, no! But, but wait, 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 wait! I don't have anything bad to say. I'm so serious right now when I say this. Gambit is a is a character who wears neon pink and blue. This is literally his freaking personality. I dead seriously mean that. He, the way that they did him in this, this is how he acts. So I'm not hating on what they did. I did. I didn't need the cut off, the the chopped off T. But I get what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. It is Gambit's personality. I'm totally, I rock with it. Gambit's a classic character. He's one of my favorites, just so everybody here knows. He's one of my favorite characters. I literally think it, this, but this right here, I was like, mm, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, yeah. you guys in the comments, if you watch the animated series, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How was he presented in his, first, he, in his yeah. first episode? Uh, look, look, Agreed. The, He's presented the, this. The, I agree voice, with you. I agree. The voice is right. The voice is right. Yeah, the voice is right on. I'm good with that. Right on. <laughs> Rogue two, Rogue two, no, no, yep, no. I thought it was okay. I think yeah, it was a little loose. Yeah, she, yeah, a she little had little been little off. It's a, a little, little bit off. Yeah, yeah, she's a bit off, bro. Mm, interesting. Okay, you want more southern twang into it? Yeah, yeah. You, you can tell whoever <laughs> whoever's doing her. They're putting it on. Quite have it. It's not. Yeah, it's they're, not they're putting in the pocket. On. You know, they need to go down south for like two weeks, deep in the bayou, then get it right. Yeah, but. With this, with yeah, I, if you get off this picture, bro, I'm good. Nope, nope we're just gonna. This, this is the image we're gonna stay on now for like a half hour because I want. <laughs> so right, I'll skip. I'll skip so in, in the in All the right. first anim, in the first animated series, we had Gambit in uh what I would like to call the Jamaican vacation whole holy shirt on. And that's how he first his first appearance in the animation. That's the way he came that's out. Why, it was a whole shirt, though, right? It had holes in it, bro. But it was a whole shirt. It, it had holes in it, bro. Right, but it was you a can't whole count shirt. a shirt if it has holes. It's like counting a thong as a pair of panties. I mean, they are, but it's yeah, all good. Well, they, it's a string, people, bro. It don't matter, son. Don't it's it's a string. His matter. nipples was out. Yeah, that's on him. That's his business. His titties was out, bro. That's his titties was out. <laughs> I mean, has, look, anybody, has anybody? Has anybody show, actually? If you're gonna show, show it all, bro. Have, have you? Have you actually ever? He looked did. At he you? actually took off his shirt for the basketball game. You forgot? Have you? Yeah, yeah. He sure did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mister Six Pack uh, himself took his shirt off, bro. But even, but, but even like, I just think that that's Gambit's style. Like, even look at his costume. His costume is his, neon pink, neon blue, and a trench coat with a headband. His like his, his mutant powers. That, that, is, his that, mutant that, powers is the power. The, but the mute, his mutant powers is the power of persuasion. Mm -hmm. So okay, that he ain't gonna. You don't know he's doing it until he tells you he's doing it. 
He ain't persuading me to cut off shirt. <laughs> he, good. I'll tell you that right now. He said he's not persuading me. <laughs> oh, oh God. Belly button oh, on man. I don't want to see the light. If you get, if you, get you one that. time with that Cherie, you're like, hey, Cherie. <laughs> nah, man. I'm good money. Yeah, my name but let's Cherie. talk about this right good here. Money. Let's talk about this right here, though. Mm. Uh, yeah. That man right there in the front got all types of respect. Yo, Chase let me tell let let me tell Chase's you something. Point. When they when they got when that the um when that the, the aircraft they were on got blown up by the Sentinel mm. and they all went into like formation, everybody's catching everybody. I forgot who everybody caught, but Storm caught somebody, Morph uh changed into Guardian Arch- whatever, Archangel. Archangel, sorry, Archangel, and caught That's somebody Archangel. else, and then Cyclops you, you said, nah, nah. You know Cyclops said, caught. "Oh, he he <laughs> caught Wolverine, right? He caught Wolverine. Yeah, all right, whatever." <laughs> um, I, I'm not gonna lie; I really wasn't even paying attention. Um, when Cyclops drops down, doesn't need help, oh. gets himself to the ground with it. Like, with, to Chase's point earlier, this is the coolest version of Scott, aka Cyclops, I've ever seen, live Wait. action or in an X Men animated yo, series. My man, my man smiled while falling. Falling was like, yo. Did it? Then my man got when he got into the dive position. I was like, "Yo, my dude, what you about to do, son? Like, mm-hmm. are we about to catch ourselves?" And homeboy just put well to Chase's point, had to press his little visor, but you know, he did that to catch him. I was like, "Look, <laughs> yo." The only thing I don't agree with is, it looks like they're in the desert. Mm-hmm. If he had his optic blast shooting at the sand that long, that that should have been like glass and then. He- yeah. But I mean, that's that's. that's I'm, not, I'm yeah. not gonna get too crazy on it. Yeah, 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 yeah I got you. you know, I, I get what you're saying though. But the other badass move was earlier in the episode where he was when they thought they had him caught, and my man was like, "No, no, not my visor." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That was funny. He just opened yeah. his eyes and blasted everybody. I was like, "Damn, bro!" It, it's it's the most it's the most personality and also the most like respect i've had for cyclops as a character so far like just everything they've done with him in this series and like to our point like a lot of this has been like quote unquote 90s cheese but i'm so in for the 90s cheese you know what i'm saying like that shit that shit actually makes me laugh like i i found myself laughing multiple times during both episodes i was like this is fun like i'm having a good time you know what i mean um the other thing okay wait before i i'm sorry i want to so Bowler oh, said okay, I wait. skipped the theme and had a two dollar. You're a, you are a villain for skipping yeah. the theme. Number one, <laughs> wait, that's villain. That's villain. So speaking of the theme, though, so uh, apparently um, there is a a suit. Uh, they're being sued for the theme because apparently it was taken from some TV show from another country and whatnot. Yeah, yeah so they heard that. Supposedly plagiarized and whatnot. So now they're they being say. So I don't know. We the next the next time you turn it on, it might be uh, nah. fifty cent or something. Nah, son. <laughs> mouse, 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 the mouse gonna pay that. Mouse yeah. gonna pay that. Also, oh, uh, yeah. Polar, thank you for the two dollars. By the way, if I didn't say that, Yo. thank you for the two dollar super chat. Thank we you, appreciate Polar. you, bro. We appreciate it. Um, no on the rogue. Okay, so people didn't really like Rogue's voice. Like it didn't sound okay. I, I, I honestly didn't. I didn't catch there. it. I thought it was okay. Um, yeah, that yeah, was loose. Then we got. It had some moments, especially in episode two, where her voice sounded pitchy. Okay, I have to go back and watch it again. Um, Torian, I'm going to say that in a second, so I'm glad that you did. So since we're in this desert scene, let me let me just explain something to you all, and then I'll get back to this. When I heard the following phrases consecutively in a row, when this man touched this X on his chest and said, hit him with the forecast, I was like, Whoa! Like I did a, I did a legit Kevin Hart. Like whoa! Like I was like yo. And then she, then then the Sentinel said Omega level threat detected. I was like, what the that, fuck? That <laughs> is the most yo. respect that I lost they could have given her at that point, bro. Yeah. I lost it. I was like, holy shit! They Omega level her, threat detected. Omega. This goes back to what. <laughs> my argument was in the beginning that they keep trying to reduce her they keep mm-hmm. because my, my okay so my 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 right right off the back when she shows up the guy calls her a witch yep. mm-hmm. storm is not a witch let's just be clear she's not a witch and she and she let him know 
But wasn't she always called? Didn't one of the villains always call her Weather Witch or some shit like that? Yes, they, they always they, called her they, Weather Witch, but they, they always got it wrong. She's a weather goddess. She was no, no. But I'm saying, I'm, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, back in the old, like the older animation, I remember yeah. one of the villains would call her like they, they were making fun of her, but they were calling her a Weather Witch. Yeah. I forget which villain it was, but I remember it just like pretty distinctly. <clears throat> um, but that that whole part, bro, the fact that she got so much respect there with the yeah. whole like Omega level threat. And then later on, we're going to talk about what Magneto said about her. Like, they're showing Storm the proper respect to an extent that she deserves because she's no mega level yeah, she's fucking human. Have, she's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and also Give the me. fact that, like, uh, giving her, her flowers right now. Like, yeah, for real. And then also Torian said, Storm turned the desert to crystal. Sure yeah, did. Real. That's what sure I'm talking did. about. Because right? finally, that they, they're, they're finally showing her, because that was one of the biggest gripes that we had in the animated series. Everybody knew her power level, everybody collected mm -hmm. the cards. Everybody said, okay, she's supposed to be an Omega level mutant. And now that she's the most popular, but the, the most thing that I got out of the first episode is that she could whoop pretty much everybody's on the X-Men's team's ass. Yep. And chooses not to leave. Yep. Why would because she? Because <laughs> we already know that Scott always, Mr. Soldier Boy himself, is always Mr. Goody Two Shoes, <laughs> has to be the leader. The, the leader. Because <laughs> come to me, my X-Men. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I got so tired of hearing him say that. Yeah. Yes. Like, every 10 seconds, my X-Men. My X-Men. My X-Men. Shut up, bro. I, I get it. I <laughs> we get, get it, it, man. We get it. You're bro, in charge. We're here already, man. What's your problem? Bro. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, but the thing is, is that also, we also have to, we do have to give him his respect. He did mm. play a, he did play a, Less of a bitch role in, the 97, in this 97 series. Here it is. This is the Omega level threat scene right and, here. And, mm -mm. And, yo, and, and, shout, and shout out to whoever's drawing Storm because she is looking great right now, bro. The Mohawk, <laughs> she, yo, she's a cutie right now, bro. I thought you had a problem with the Mohawk. You know, you liking the nah, Mohawk. No, 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 no. I actually, I actually like the way they drew Storm in this. I really do. They did a good job with the Mohawk. Uh, I, I, had a, I had a problem with some of her stature, which we talked about before with yeah. her and Rogue. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's supposed to be a little bit more voluptuous, but I, I nerfed her. They nerfed her. They, 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 they nerfed her. They nerfed her. They nerfed the gat out here and whatnot. They nerfed the gat. Yeah, what it is. But, but, they, but she, she, they got Storm looking real snackish out here, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She looking real um, snackish. So then, Avi, oh, uh, Leo, I wanted to ask you, how'd you feel about the Gambit Wolverine little team up oh. scene against the sentinel there i thought that was fucking cool it, that did look that. cool that, that did, don't get me wrong dope. i thought that that's was the cool. only thing but the, the one thing that i was like that would have hurt like a motherfucker because wolverine that's the only metal that can't bend can't after it's heated up to a certain degrees it can't do nothing but that but the blast alone mm. should have blew off his fucking hands or oh, at least get, you know what I mean. It should have get, yeah. it should have got, but it was. I was like, it does look cool for the cartoon. It does look good it for does. the X Men ninety seven. So I was like, I did not have a fucking problem with it. So I was like, mm. all right, let's get it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And then uh, obviously we. Uh, so that goes without saying. Obviously, not to spoil it for you guys completely, but oh yeah, I was gonna say, and Morph turned into the Blob, so Wolverine could do the jump. I don't know yeah. how. And yes. that was, I thought that was pretty. Morph turned into like how many different characters in episode turned one? Quite a few. Like, he like yeah, a he turned, bunch. He turned into uh, Saber Two. No, that yeah, was Saber Two. No, I think that was episode one, the end. I'm pretty sure. Was it? Like the very, very end of episode one. No, I think. Was episode two. Was it episode two? It yeah. was. Okay. But I know the blob. Um, turned into Archangel. 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 He turned into two people the blob and Archangel. Charles. Charles Xavier. Yeah, in the, when he came in, when he came episode. in, he came in walking. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yo, I was, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, yo look at this that, clown, bro. That is morph. <laughs> it's morph. morph. Is a, it is. That morph is an asshole. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. an asshole. He will play with your emotions just to do that, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to fuck with you, just because the thing about morph, morph is more powerful than a lot of people want to give him, because once he uh, he, he he gains your likeness, he gets to use your powers. Mm -hmm. Not forever, but he gets to use your powers to a certain extent. Is it a nerfed? Or is it a nerfed version of the powers? It's not it, like the full. It, yeah, it's, like not, it's, not full like, it's not full. Right. It's not full. powers. No, it's okay. not. Yeah, no, that's no, what wait, I thought. Fighting the, fighting the the Sentinels, he turned into Psylocke. 
He, he did in, Psylocke. Uh, no, no, yeah. that was episode two too. Was it episode two? Yeah. Yeah, it was. The, it was during the court scene. Oh yeah, never mind. He turned yeah. into right. Psylocke, and he turned. It, he, he turned into uh, what's his name too? Freaking um. I'll wait till we get there. God damn it. Yeah, we I got metal you. man. Yeah, I got you. I got you. We'll get we'll get to episode oh, two, but let's Colossus. you know. So he let's the metal, the, <laughs> the metal man, <laughs> the metal man. You know, the metal guy, big metal guy. Um, what's it called? But uh, the end of episode. So obviously they're in the desert. They fight. Um, it was, tra- it was Trask. I want to make sure I'm getting my names right. Trask yes. or was, tra- yeah, it Trask. was Trask? Right. So they they're fighting Trask, and obviously Trask wakes up the Sentinels. The Sentinels attack. They all handle the business. Blah blah blah. Mold. Yeah. Um, so I, I did enjoy that. Um, and then at the end of the episode, we get this lovely little surprise. Oh, Lord have mercy Christ <laughs> on my soul. Crazy. We get uh we get Magneto standing in Charles Xavier's office at the end of the episode, and uh he also <laughs> says the line, My super X-Men shadowing. again, <laughs> super shadowing. <laughs> um and if there was one voice that kind of bothered me, it was Magneto's. But I'm I'm not gonna nitpick. But it, it's cool. No, it is what it is. Nitpick. I'm not gonna nitpick. It is what. Oh, uh, Polar also says uh, Morph underrated. Damn right. Morph is Morph is cool, man. Morph is cool. Um, how'd you guys feel when you saw Magneto at the end of episode one? Oh uh, damn! I was I was like I was like shocked because first of all, I, I thought they were going in just bum rush his ass to begin with. Mm. Um, but then I, I figured. That something must have, you know, transpired that he was coming to take over the team and whatnot. Mm. Um, yeah, so he, I think I think this is going to just setting up the story for a, a more interesting chain of events, which we'll get into in part two. Also, I mean, yeah. listen, I like it. It, you know, I like it. He he did lead the team in the comics for a while. See so that I didn't. That I'm I didn't. Good know. With, I'm good with them going in this direction. Mm. I'm just curious to see it. See the thing is with the, with this Magneto, I like the story between him and Charles. It's always okay. been it's always been a back and forth. Every every time it's always been a back and forth, but it actually shows the amount of love that he had for Charles. Because you know that he, you you know he could have killed Charles as many times as he wanted to just because he was in the wheelchair, but he never did. Mm. Because he considered him a brother because all the stuff that they went through together. So it's like it, we're, we're getting we're getting a lot of what the series is supposed to be. It's supposed to be drama filled. It's supposed to be controversial. It's supposed to be everything that's it, it, it reflects a lot of things that are going on today. So it's supposed to be that, and that's why Stanley and uh, Dicko and all the other guys who created and wrote it made it this way. Because they want you to be thinking about what he is saying and adapt it to your life. Because most of the stuff that Magneto was saying adapts to DNA. Hmm. W lore. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. I love the X-Men lore, man. X-Men, X-Men lore is some of the best. So I guess um that'll well, do we have anything else to say about before we episode one before we hop into episode two? It was pretty nice. I enjoyed getting into it. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry for getting on the guy who uh, voiced Wolverine. He did just <laughs> Charles uh, Don. I mean, no, I'm not gonna. I can I ain't gonna hold you, man. That, that thing is still. He still sounds weird to me, though. Uh, yeah, but so, he's, he's, all, he's all. He's all. He's yeah, but he's also know, how much older now? You know, know what I'm saying? I know it just sounds. But weird. Sound weird I get. I, I get, get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So five or something. I also do want to say that I think that they nailed the Wolverine and Cyclops relationship pretty well oh, yeah. so far they pretty much like those oh. two are just gonna go back and forth with each other the entire season oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well, fighting over a same woman to have that you know it'll do that to you I, uh, I enjoyed watching him be all bitched up over gene though like, you <laughs> saw you saw it in his eyes like uh-huh. it, it, he turned into that real sun's getting real low big but like he just really like yeah. Bro, bro. <laughs> that's that's what it got you. You ain't never sniffing. Damn, son. <laughs> you know Damn. you can sniff that from across the room, bro. What's wrong with you? I mean, this is also true. <laughs> also, um, so he must have been really pissed off when that baby was conceived. <laughs> Damn, bro. Bro. Bro, you heard it. Uh, Shit. Uh, so, uh, so obviously, we cut right to episode two, and episode two involves Magneto addressing the team for the first time. Where it said. 
Last time on X. Last time See, on X Men. <laughs> Previously, um, previously, previously on previously X Men. On X-Men. Uh, to be legit, said I didn't think Jubilee was great. Nope, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I, um, I, yeah, I didn't. Jubilee okay. wasn't great in the animated series. Yeah, Jubilee. she was better than this. It, so, nah, or, so I have a question. I'm watching it right now, bro. Because, because I honestly don't know. Are Jubilee and Sunspot like a thing in the comics as well? Jubilee's a teenager, bro. She's she's into... isn't, isn't isn't Sunspot a teenager? She's a She's a thing yeah. with everybody. That's my point. Yeah, she yeah, she she's <laughs> been having a cheat. Ah, she was great. <laughs> <laughs> she for the streets, bro. She, <laughs> she, belo- <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Stop, stop. All she knows is the, the X-Men lifestyle. Okay. You gotta realize she's like what 14, 15 when she joined the X-Men. Hmm. Okay. When All we right. found yeah. her and brought her there. I was, so, so. I was just I was just asking because I didn't know. I did not. Victorian says Rogue is for the Bayou. <laughs> Wait, you ain't lying. Son. That's classic. Um, Bishop looks not. Uh, yeah, he looks so Dominican here. <laughs> he does. He looks so Dominican. Look at the cut, bro. Look at the cut, bro. You can't. You can't see behind even, Magneto's he's, shoulder, but he got like a bottle of Mama Wada there. He does. He, he, he does. Just finished he's, even, he's even got the M for Mama Wada on his fucking face. <laughs> So wrong with you. <laughs> so wrong with you. Hey, listen, not wrong with it. Oh man. Um, yeah. So obviously we get that scene. So we get to we get to the point where we start this this episode. So I'll, I'll I'll go back a little bit, but obviously Magneto is addressing the team, and obviously he tells all of them that like you know for whatever reason Charles left him in charge. You know, so they kind of you know obviously have an issue with this, and then. Um, you know, they basically tell him that they want him to prove himself, right? To prove that he's trustworthy and that he's going to actually lead the X-Men the proper way. Um, come to find out that uh, I don't know who who's... I don't know her name. Who's the chick who, like, Cyclops was on the the thing with? I, I don't know who it, who it was. The the one who was on the phone. I think she's, like, government or whatever. Well, she's, I have the no UN, idea. Uh, she's the head of the UN. She's the head of the UN? That's who she is? I didn't know what yeah. her role was. And the, and the, and the United... Um... Uh, the 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 UN and also the um, mutant control for the UN or the mutant assistance for the UN, but we also have the aspect of uh, Magneto in the beginning of the series saving the two humans off the Ferris wheel. Oh, mm-hmm. you're right. Good good point. I actually totally forgot about that until you just mentioned. So, it. But yeah, there's a lot yeah. that goes on before we get to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah so no, there is, there is, there is. We, we get Magneto saving people, the humans off the Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. Um, then we also get him. Um, uh, he also we also get a fucking great scene with him and Storm where he bows to her, yeah, and call her the yeah. Ring Goddess, yeah. So I was like, put some respect yeah, on her name, bro. God damn, you got an Omega level mutant bowing down to another Omega level mutant. You never saw that before. Magneto don't bow to nobody. It's a fact. Never bow to nobody. That I know of. I never so, realized how how strong Storm really was until I looked it up after. Because I went I went to go look up like Omega level mutants and like like people say that she's right there like on par with Magneto power level wise or maybe even stronger potentially yeah, in her full she, version. She, but she, because they they always like I said they they always reduced her power, powered her down, or they kept her out of scene. Normally, mm-hmm. you see one thing people never paid attention to was. Um, Charles, Charles, Professor X always kept Storm close. That was his security. So when he showed up, you'd see Storm show up unless the other X Men were in trouble, and then he would send her out. So she was, she, she, she's always been like that enforcer and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, her, 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 and Jean has always been like the two that always stayed close to him because he always had to keep an eye on Jean every single time. Mm-hmm. Just because he knew her threat and he knew what she was about. So it's like, okay, let's let's get that all into the whole thing. Um we also get in this episode, Rogue and Magneto were uh uh-huh. uh oh. Wait, uh-huh. googly, googly. 
<laughs> he was magnetizing that ass for a couple, a couple, a couple years. <laughs> she belonged to the Ooh. IU, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Magneto's a... He's a G, that, bro. I, I didn't Fuck know that you. was a thing either, to be honest with you. Man, you, I, I, dude, I didn't know that they were going to go do that. They did it. Yeah. That's a fact. I was like, oh, oh okay, we, we are sticking to comic books. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> my, man, my man walked straight up on it and was like. <laughs> he was like, you remember? And she was like, what? We do not talk about that, Mr. Magneto. We do not talk about what happened in New Orleans. Stays in New Orleans. Okay? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Torian says, and don't let Storm get into a situation where she's in an enclosed space due to her claustrophobia because then she could possibly oh, yeah, cause a tear in the planet. Oh, that shit, is yeah, a switch. Right. People don't know that about Storm True. has claustrophobia. She does not like enclosed spaces. Enclosed spaces. That's mm-hmm. when she first she first knew her powers because they, somebody in Africa threw her in a freaking pit. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, <laughs> and it did didn't you, go well after that. <laughs> did you? So, so I have a question. Did you guys see at some point there was a point in time, and I don't mean to like jump around, but they showed like Storm's room, and people were saying that um in the background you could actually see like um the Black Panther, like the like goddess, like the uh, 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 what the uh, fuck is her name? It begins with a B, but I can't fucking remember it. Shira. Shira. So I, I can't remember, but no. Um, but- Huh? Bosch. 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 Yeah. Bosch. So people were saying that that was like the Panther guy. So like they're saying that maybe Storm gets tied into the upcoming animated Wakanda series. So I was like, it might be I a thing. Be, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if 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 they did. Like you know, listen, we we've been waiting for that connection to happen anyway. Mm-hmm. You know that you know, and you know, you know the Black Panther showed her the Black God, you know? and then. After that, we get to Magneto also saves. Um, yeah, I forgot the damn name of the group. Uh, the people in the sewers. The Morlocks. The Warlocks, yes. He saves uh, Magneto. Uh, yeah, he, he saves the Warlocks. More. Warlocks. Morlocks, sorry. Morlocks. He saves the Morlocks. And he sends them to Geneva, right? Genosha. No, Kenosha. 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 He sends. He sends. Kenosha. 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 I let you, I let you rock two times, man. Just drink. <laughs> Hell no. You drink one. Table to Kenosha. Then you say it wrong again. Kenosha. That's a Kenosha. G G G. Kenosha. Kenosha. That 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 sha. They he sends them to there. Which I didn't know that we had a fucking mutant island. Okay, so I was like, all right, we have all we have. We have our own. <laughs> we have our own fucking country now. I want to go. They've been had that. <laughs> they did, but they didn't fucking. They didn't really aspect that too much in the comic. No, not in the comic, but in, like in the show, they went to Genosha a couple times. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't. They but Magneto was still trying to build it. Yeah, he well, he evidently succeeded. <laughs> yeah, so he made his own state. So that's what he made his own country. Uh, so then we get. Um, he saves them. And then, then this is where this is this this meeting when he fucking scolds the mutants. So he tells them, "Why didn't you guys save these people from a long time ago? You had them in the sewers, treating them that they're less than, and they're one of us." And then he he talks to Leech, and he prays. He says, "Leech, okay, you, you'll never be downplayed or talked to badly ever again. And I was always and I will always protect you." Now it's funny because Leech sounds exactly the same as he did. Before. Yes, he did. Yes, he's a little punk ass bitch, but <laughs> he still sounds the same. <laughs> Yo, get your bed, bro. Get your bed. I love I love the Leo drink emojis. It's great. There it is. Oh, uh, it went up. You got to do it now. <laughs> yes, thank you, Paula. Appreciate you, brother. Paula, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. <clears throat> uh, I love that. Uh, so then after that, we get the whole him bowing and him going to Rogue. And then we get um, the the UN people coming to Xavier's mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> my, man, my man walked out there. I was like, nah, chill. We good. Them boys jumped out the choppers with the gats. <laughs> Yo, Magneto was like, you sure? 
<laughs> you see that you're sure? I think I skipped. No, I didn't put that. Yeah, you, think that you think that you're sure? And then the, he turns the fucking helicopters on. The- Yo, he turned the helicopters <laughs> up so, like sideways. And I was like, oh, shit. That's- like Magneto don't play games, bro. He don't play That's games, Magneto. man. Yeah, that that is Magneto. There was twice in this in this episode where I said, "Oh, that's that's Magneto." He's, I was like, "Oh went, shit!" He went full boss on him. Like, I'm mm-hmm. gonna show you something. Yep. He was like, "Oh, our guns are not made out of metal." <laughs> he he like, looked at him. He was like, 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 "True, true, <laughs> yeah, true." <laughs> <What> is <laughs> Dude, when he looked at him, I was like, "You know, you know, you're going on and fucked up right now, right?" <laughs> Can you say for yeah. your ride. Yeah. <laughs> You so at this moment that they realized that you gotta realize this is omega level magneto the iron in your blood <laughs> he can control he can, he can fucking control bro so this is what you're trying to tell me that you're gonna come up there with just yeah you know what let me go fucking pop off a little bit no bro you don't have you have no wins you have anything. You come in there by yourself. You have no wins. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, no wins in Mikasa. Uh, so then we get this scene, and then we get the the scene with the F uh, F O H. Uh, f- uh, what was it called? Um, yeah. My bad. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you up. We got a we got a five dollar super chat from Tori in here. Oh. This yeah. Leo Leo going into Rogue, I must have missed that part unless it was on the mature side of Disney Plus, <laughs> aka Disney After Dark. <laughs> uh, what do you uh, what do you mean by that, Tori? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, what I didn't know mean? now I know why they made me set my parental controls on Disney Plus. Understood. Uh, Understood. Yeah, yeah, Makes yeah. a lot more sense. Yes, very mm-hmm. much more sense. But yeah, that whole I, I didn't I, I really was shocked and surprised. That they they went that way and that <laughs> that far into it. I thought they weren't going to do that, but I was like, okay. So we get um uh, okay. So it's the Friends for Humanity. That's what they're called. Oh, what's it? And, and they in the first episode they already have like Sentinel blasters. So mm. and then oh, yeah. they bring then then we go into the second episode where in the first episode they got the ass kicked. So mm. now in the second episode we have Magneto being brought to trial. So this is this scene right here where he went willingly, That's right. willingly to go stand trial for Xavier and for his his love for his friend. It wasn't so, for Xavier; it was for him. He went to trial for himself. <clears throat> yeah, but no, he went for trial. For, but he went to tr- he doesn't have to go to trial. You understand? Right. He doesn't. He doesn't need to. He nobody can stop him. He did it. He only did it to prove himself to the rest of the X Men. Yeah, yeah but if, if, if because said, if for his love for Xavier. Yeah, he also says that he's trying to be a he's trying to be a better person, which is a conversation that he kind of had with Charles. They imply that he had this conversation with Charles. So it is it is to prove to them, but it's also him trying to, you know, I guess kind of he's kind of in mourning and trying to. I be mean, a he's in that beginning part of it because I mean, he doesn't have that. He doesn't make that statement until like the end. <clears throat> yeah, but it, that's that you you can kind of tell like. This is, yeah, this you can tell when he already got the real reason why he's doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, the to... real re- it's the real reason why he's doing it because as soon as he got the will, that's when he thought everybody was going to jump on him and he knew he, nobody had a chance except for Storm. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why he, he bowed down to Storm just to prove his point. Like, listen, I'm not here to fight you because you're the only person that can really stop me in this fucking room. Mm-hmm. Fair. So, mm-hmm. which also shows how strong is Storm. So, and then we also get the executioner in this episode. Mm hmm. You're right here. There you go. There you go. Yeah, he bitched up fucking Scott real quick. Got turned in. Can't open smack, his eyes smack now. The shit yo, out of him. Yeah. Yo, bro. Can't open his eyes now. Scott milk money out this month. <laughs> yo, yo, I was surprised he beat him like that. He beat his ass real quick, bro. I was like, wow. what the hell? I mean, he had such a strong opening in that he first did. episode, and then, he did. damn, bro. Yeah, Turn him just, into a bitch real fucking quick. Because when he yeah. showed up to the hospital, my man was still limping hard. Like, oh god, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> when I came down, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we also skipped the part. Uh, Gene is in labor. Ah, uh, yes, right. And guess who has to drive her ass to the fucking fucking hospital? Of course, right. it's Wolverine. Naturally, 
Wolverine. He's forever a cuck. That's what he is. He's he a cuck. He's he in that position. Yeah, that's his, that's his, his, that's his, that's your life, life bro. Time, big time, bro. Mm-hmm. He is so cool. we get him driving like a fucking madman. Uh, Gene, the whatever Gene it is, uses Cerebro to contact Scott. Scott gets taken to the hospital. Uh, then we go back into when Magneto is on the stage and he gives a motherfucking speech. Yeah. He's like, you, he was spitting facts in that speech. Mm-hmm. He did not fucking hold his tongue about nothing. Shout out to Morph for saving the day. He did jump in there and save the day. Yeah, yeah it, Morph. It okay, really so did. Morph in this episode turns into Lady Deathstrike, Colossus, <laughs> Psylocke, <laughs> and at the end, but we'll get to it when he turns into uh, our boy. Uh, and also in the hospital scene, you get to see the first hand kind of racism against mutants because the doctor yeah. wouldn't even deliver the fucking baby. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Let me tell you something. When when G- when Gene looked at Rogue and said, "Can you go take my man's ability?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yo, yo that's fucked up." My man said, "Excuse me." Yeah, he said, "Excuse me." Yo, no, she, yo, no hesitation. She was like, "Could you uh, go take his ability to give birth?" And uh, and just you know put that. Into you. I was like, I was like, yo, you just you just took like twenty years of medical school out of dude's head. Like, all right, bet. Like, <laughs> like that. Okay, cool. I guess because Wolverine was about to shank his ass. Yo, my man said, I'll show, I'll show you a C section. I was like, oh damn. Wolverine was Wolverine was not playing. He was like, yo, you about to get these claws. So then we get that, and then we get Magneto's fucking speech. And then we have the whole FOA storming the fucking UN. Huh? Sound familiar? But uh, <laughs> uh, and then you, what do you what do you what do you what do you mean by that? No politics. So does anybody know what the date was when that was happening? Could you shut the fuck up, goddamn? No, nope. I'm just saying. I don't. Uh, I, don't see I, I I've heard it. On the on the interwebs, uh, I did not confirm it myself, but I will rewatch to get a um, mm. confirmation, get an understanding again to get a confirmation. I have to look at what the, what the TV screens on the TV screen was saying. But, uh, mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sounded so like we, they were fighting. <laughs> 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 so basically, uh. we have uh, Mr. Executioner. We uh, they're starting to gain ground. The X Men are starting to gain ground. They're starting to gain, gain control. Then we have the badass Storm just say, stands in front of the fucking UN on top of the UN desk and says, "Let Magneto go," mm. and yep. tells them where to station their men. Mm-hmm. If you ain't never seen a boss, bitch boy, <laughs> God damn. I know. She stood. There. She, you know what that scene reminded me of? Queen Mother when she when they went to the UN. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Auntie Angie on that one, bro. <laughs> very yeah. she, went full, she went full on Auntie in that one. So, and then they release Magneto. Uh, Magneto starts. They start mopping up like normal, <laughs> like X Men supposed to do. But this punk motherfucker right here. <laughs> what do you do, man? He well, blasts his. He blasts my fucking baby in the chest with the motherfucking anti-mutant gun. God. Man, let me tell you the, the 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 lines that hurt me were when Storm is sitting there and once again like just powerful lines looking up through the glass window and is like I can't feel the wind. I can't yeah, feel the like moisture. The like I was like, "Oh, stop like, it. Yo. Don't do that to me." That hurt right here. I was like, "Oh, don't uh, don't don't say shit like that. That hurts." Going. I was like, uh, "Wow!" And, uh, and, and then, yo, and, and then, yo, Mag, we got a glimpse of fucking Magneto. Yo, Magneto <laughs> went nuclear, bro. My man, my man, yo, he was yeah. like, he was like an angry dad. He was like, you know what, mm-hmm. you, 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 and you. Let me talk to you for a minute, and. Dude, I thought when he had executioner, I thought he was gonna crush his fucking helmet on his head. Mm -hmm. He could have, could have if he wanted to. I thought the same thing. I thought he was like, yo, he's he about to twist my man's head all the way off. (laughs) 
<laughs> Fold them up in aluminum foil. <laughs> ah, so, yeah, so, <laughs> so, so I have a I have a question about this scene because people are obviously I don't know if you guys have seen, but people are questioning Magneto on this a little bit because right, there's theorists there, there's theorists out there that are saying that he in, he knew that shot was going to come and let Storm take it because he knew that was his only threat in the X Men. I mean, it's it's possible. It's possible. It's, it's possible it's because it's plausible. Um, it, it's it's possible, but uh, I, I don't. I don't. So I I think that we have to remember one thing: Magneto's um, whole dogma and 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 his whole you know behavior is about protecting mutants, and he he, yeah. he takes that to a twisted level. He does. So I cannot see him. Um, sacrificing, sacrificing, sacrificing you know. uh, uh, another omega level at that. Yeah. When he already was positioned to have positive influence with her. You yeah, know true. I mean? true. So better a powerful ally than you know an ally who has no weaponry. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. So I, I, I can't. You're saying people people were theorizing. I was of like, course. oh, I mean, I you know, I, I was like, I get it, you know, but that wouldn't that wouldn't match the arc that he's on. It wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, it would. It would. I mean, it especially, match. especially as how the episode ends. <clears throat> yo, the thing he, is, yo, oh, when he's ahead, up in the, it, what, this is what that, defeats that he, that that he, premise. He, ju he just, yeah, Leo was about to say what I was gonna say. When he's yeah. up in the air and you see the tear in his eye, mm -hmm. that's what defeats that premise of he wanted Ro he wanted Storm to take that. And then go ahead, uh, Aaron, say what you wanted to say. No, no, what I was gonna say is, yo, when he had. When he had these judges and executioner up in the air, I was like, Ooh. like, you, like you've never felt such a sense of like he was basically telling them like, listen, I could fucking kill you all right now yeah. if I wanted to. Don't make that. Yeah. Small. Don't make me do it. Don't I will it, do it. Don't, don't make it small. <laughs> he didn't have him in the air. Yeah, he, he had them to space. To, yeah, he basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, they're up there. I was like, oh, they're up there. Okay. But I love the I love the lot even just the line he said where he was like, "Don't make me be the bad guy. Don't make no. me do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Don't make me be the guy I can be. I can be. Yeah, I, I'll do it right now. <laughs> you know, I that's why I, I swear to God. that's why I think I'm I'm loving like as much as the Magneto voice threw me off at first, the way that they're portraying him so far, where his arc is probably going to go because I have an idea of where it's going to go. Um, I'm totally down with what they're about to do with Magneto in the season. And oh. the I'll get used to his voice by episode five too. Probably, yeah. But the, the lore, it's still the same. It is. It's it still is. standing the same as Magneto. It's yep. still standing the same as Malcolm X and Martha Luther King. Put it's that comment up. I'm sorry. It's still. But I'm trying to be better. Please yeah. don't let me let you down. That Literally, the, that's bar. the bar I was thinking of. That's, that's a bar, bar though. That's, yeah, that's a bar. That's a, that's Don't a shirt, let bro. me let you down. Don't what? let me let you down. It's like help me help <laughs> metaphorically <you>. and theoretically, <laughs> and physically. Because I'm drop your right? bitch ass. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean what? to stop. I didn't mean to stop where you were going with the uh, yeah. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. But I saw the line and I was like, "That's yeah. a bar we need." To put I was trying to think of the word, but that yeah. was it. I'm trying to be better. Don't let me let you down. Such a bar. I was I like, see. "Oh man, Magneto, bro, she was nasty." <laughs> and and this is and like I was saying, this is what Stan Lee envisioned. Mm -hmm. He always envisioned the separation of the two. He's always he's get, Magneto. He's making the Magneto the bad guy that you want to like, that you have to like. Mm -hmm. And I love that. And you I and you that. and you see the sense of him, the violence that he's doing, is for a good reason. A lot I of like people can't see both bad. sides of the story, but it's. It's to the extent of what Stanley wrote. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So and it, has, I guess, and it hasn't changed. So I'm I, I guess uh, I, I don't. I wasn't able to find uh, slides of it, but I guess we could talk about how the episode ends. Uh, so obviously, this was like my least favorite thing ever when Beast tells her that it looks yeah. like it's permanent rearranging of the molecular cells or whatever. I mean, it absolutely pissed me off. I was like, yeah, yo, what? I was fucking heated. Just Big her yeah. all the way up. You just gave yep. her all the props that you should have been but, giving her forever, mm -hmm. and now you just this is, take this it is away when, in the next episode. This is when they God kill damn. a black person at the beginning of the damn horror movie, bro. God, like, God damn. <laughs> hey, damn. Nerfed her in episode two. I'm like, damn. 
Um, yeah. but, but like, I heard that there's a way, like in the comics, that she actually does get the powers back yeah. eventually. Mm-hmm. But you, no, you'll you know, get it. You you should be able to get it in this season. You think? You think this season? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if she gets her powers back, I'm gonna fucking lose it. FYI, because that shit was was that's you know. the, that that should be your arc in this that should I, be I, where you gain arcs in this don't season. get me more excited than i already am because i'm already <laughs> fucking excited for the season the, 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 it's crazy the great i was shit. like i was like they're gonna milk this for another season or two and yeah. she's not gonna get the powers back and i was like hey if it, but if my predictions are correct she should have her powers interesting hopefully and so I guess since we're just going to go basically to the to the, the the final, so they they eventually get a knock on the door after Storm leaves and writes that whole letter to, to that know, letter Jean fucking and, killed me, bro. That, that letter killed me too. FYI, I mean, I don't man. Know. she got on a bus. She got on a you bus. Know, that's on a bus. I was like, I don't know what a bus you, is. You are X Men. Take the fucking Blackbird. Ball that not bitch. Anymore, not anymore. Not anymore. Nope. Um, <laughs> but. Lifetime ago. So so storm storm leaves after a heartfelt letter, you know, saying that you know she's no longer part of the team and da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Um, but she'll she'll be she'll be back. She'll be back. She'll be back. Um, and then there's a knock on the door, and it's Jean Grey. <laughs> oh, I, I, yo, I'm not gonna lie. That happened, and I was like, oh shit. Now I know what arc this is for sure. <laughs> Here we Here we go. go. <laughs> and also, we forgot to mention in the beginning of this episode, you get to see dun, 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 an image of Mr. Sinister himself. Oh, that's right. He's in the the, oh, the intro credits, right? I saw, I saw that. I saw that. So yeah. that's cool. That's so cool. how deep do you guys want me to go with this whole? No, 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 no. Don't, don't know. Listen, there's people here who are watching it. Don't. I know. I know the arc. I'm sure these guys kind of know the arc. and probably know the arc better than I do. Don't ruin it for the people in here because this arc is crazy. The arc gets nuts, and I know I kind of have an idea where it's going, so don't ruin it. <laughs> Damn it, Aaron. Don't ruin I was, it. I was about to go with the fucking folder. <laughs> I mean, if you want, listen, I, I don't know if the people want you to ruin the whole fucking thing. The comic is yeah, great. Don't, don't, the comic is great. But... Let's, 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 get a, let's get a little deep into the episodes. Let's, and then we'll, uh, wait, yeah. wait, can I tell the name, though? Wait, wait. so that, that's right. You can tell them the name, but wait. Listen, okay. we're, we're, we're going to do episode three next week. This is going to go up as a separate YouTube video. In the comment section, if you want Leo to get really in-depth on the comic series, put it in the comment section, and we will... Leo could deep dive on f- fucking X-Men comics for the rest of... for another 40 minutes, if we want him to. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to bed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but we get, like you said, Gene is stumbling to Xavier's mansion. And you see Scott holding on to his other jean. Mm-hmm. And he, even with the sunglasses on, you can see he said, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can say, uh-huh. and he's holding his baby. What? What? I said, what? what? <laughs> Sing it, oh. you remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. he's a, he was about to say, it wasn't me, baby. It was oh. Oh by, oh, by the way, the the baby uh, being uh, Nathan Charles <laughs> Richards. <laughs> Summers. I didn't even put Summers. that tie Summers. in together Summers. until Summers. after. Summers. Huh? Summer. Summer. Sorry. Sorry. Summer. Sorry. Summer. 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 Sorry. Bad. Um. Yeah. I'm bad, really bad with names. So um. If, if, but if you, if you guys want, if you guys want, look at Nathan Summers. Look Summers. up. Na- All right. Look up. Look up Nathaniel Summers. Look up Nathaniel Summers. And you'll find out who that is. Mm-hmm. And, and the other and the other person the other person that's uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Scott's baby mama mm-hmm. I am not I'm not gonna give you the name <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it because after I tell you her name is 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 literally gonna spoil the whole thing we're gonna talk about it next week anyway because episode three is gonna get right into it so yeah yeah, yeah so uh, anyway. you guys get to wait for till next week. And then I'll break out the book. And... Tell them, tell, tell them, tell them the the comic. At least give them the comic right. if you want to. Right. Give, them, right. give them the right. comic right. if they're interested in looking it up. Look it up. All right. Uh, the comic is. Oh wait, I actually have it. Hold on. Sorry. Gotta go back. Gotta go back into my into the deep fucking. Do you have the actual comic? <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm, nice. 
X oh Kenny X wait uh no this is now Empire X Men or oh, Uncanny X Men one sixty eight. Mm. Uncanny X Men one nineteen eighty three, ladies and gents. I wonder if you guys can bring my boy in here though. What? Who <laughs> bring my boy? His boy. Strife. <laughs> Who? Who? Strife. Strife. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't want me to say nothing, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's enough. So obviously we get left off on episode two with uh Gene Gray knocking at the door, Scott Holden, Gene Gray, <laughs> and his baby and, and his baby. And uh then we get, you know, obviously we will take, pick this up next week for episode three. We hope you guys enjoyed our review. Um overall. I would say, by the way, Rotten Tomato score had a perfect score after the first day. Just did saying. they? <laughs> they, they did. Really? They did. Oh, oh what? Well, really? Finally? Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, all I'll say is, for now, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying it. It's not perfect, but I'm enjoying the '90s cheese, the nostalgia, the like. I'm having a good time. You know what I mean? Like. This is the first Marvel project I've actually really been invested in in a little bit. Like, I'm going to watch this thing every week every, when it comes out on Wednesday. <laughs> you know, uh, and I'm going to actually be like, can't wait to watch it, you know? But and you young whippersnappers, hey, in, in the in the, in the, in the, car, uh, the wheel, Ferris wheel, the thing that fell on the, on the ground for you young whippersnappers, that was called a Walkman. <laughs> we used to listen mu to music on one of those things. What are those? What? Hmm. It holds something that was called a cassette. How, oh, how, 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 old, how old are we in 1997? I, I, was, um, I was old enough. I was, old. I, I, was, was uh, I was um I was eight. <laughs> no, no, don't say that, Aaron. You serious, bro? I'm so serious. I was eight. You were eight years old, bro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, God, I feel fucking old as shit. <laughs> I feel so old. Fuck <laughs> me, man. I had the fucking episode. <laughs> Toy is the me. same age as me. He was eight too. Yeah. Toy was eight too. You know what I was doing? Young mother. You know what I did in '97? I don't know. I was watching X Men in my underoos. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I graduated high school. In I graduated next year. You were, you were just a. Wow. I was in my underoos, fam. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm real old. Man. Oh, man. All right. Two and a half hours. We pushed you guys a little bit over today, but, you know, it it's X-Men. So it was for the X-Men. You know, we'll get more towards normal pace next week, hopefully keeping it under two hours. But I do want to thank everybody who sent a super chat tonight. Nico, still Apex, Sean, Polar, and Torian. We really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys are crazy. Uh, the hotheads always coming through. We really, really appreciate it and hope you guys enjoyed our discussion. <laughs> This, oh, guy Torian, this guy Torian wants us to discuss Freak Nick so bad. What? <laughs> what? A what, Nick? A picnic? I don't know what that is. And also, just to remember a little bit of promotion. If you're a hothead, look at the members only versus battle. The rules mm -hmm. are what the rules are on it. Oh, the boys are already commenting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. you guys give us give us your if you guys give us a good pick for the next versus. The, the, our next versus battle. Who comes out alive? Who got it? You guys get to be on that sh that shoot that stream of the people that you picked. Mm -hmm. And also for anybody who's watching, you want to become a high head? Hit the join button. You guys yeah. are gonna get a for us as a gift from us. You guys are gonna get something very nice. So hey, hey, yeah, you giving away too much. Hey, listen. Hi. Join, join that membership, become a high head, gonna get I'm great perks. Uh, you know, besides being able to make Leo drink, we got some Hi. great stuff that we're planning to, to hook you guys up with. Um, I'm giving money out shit some, some like shit I said, a hard pass the water cooler. <laughs> the, some of some of the high head members might be in a in a live recording that we're gonna do um with the uh with the battle and whatnot. So you know, you, you give to us, we give back. That's what we do. All right, yeah. No good? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. So until next week, X-Men episode, X-Men 97 episode three. We'll catch you guys next week. Probably some more ridiculous news and rumors coming out. Deadpool mm -hmm. three. We need a Deadpool three countdown. 
soon. Are we sure? <laughs> yeah, we gotta put that up. We gotta, we gotta we definitely put that up. I think we got like two months left or something like that. It's like too, two long. Months. Too, long. Yeah, it's too, too long. It's too, too far away. No, it's like July, anyway. bro. That's way longer. Oh, is it? I forgot. I keep thinking. Now I'm the, yeah, I'm right. depressed. <laughs> All right, guys. We will catch you guys next week, episode 108. Appreciate you guys hanging out again. Until next week. Peace. Come to me, my X-Men. Magneto's tapping the yams, boy. He is just... I hope they never say that again in no other episode. (laughs) (laughs) No, they will. Magneto is going to say it until they all flock to him. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, man. Magneto's flocking to Rome. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 What we told you, it's official. Yeah. 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 Non-stop. 24-7-3-6-5.